following program is brought to you by Real Tree Edge. Hunt with an edge. Real Tree Edge. changed up strategies a little bit where we had the bow this morning because of the wind and we decided you know we're going to switch off to the to the gun this afternoon so i've got the gun with me what we've got here you can tell that wind behind me is we got all kind of bedding stuff out of here in front of us and off to our left dead straight over my shoulder there's a big wheat field and those deer hopefully will get to their feet this afternoon and try to get to the wheat field there's been Lots of deer in that wheat field the last week or two. So hopefully we got, uh, we picked the right spot in that wheat field, the interest going in. The only thing we do now is just hope the wind will be a little bit kind to us, but uh, right now it's blowing pretty good. See you. Totally lucky, totally lucky. The wind has been just howling and blowing uh, really, really hard all day. And the neat thing about it, we're not going to have a tracking job. He's, he's, uh, he's close. Oh, yes. Just a great buck. This is one of the characteristics right here. You know that he had, but got good brows. We encountered this deer bow hunting last year and never got an opportunity to uh, you know get on him but uh years wait just a great magnificent you know texas deer you know paul's done a good job i'll have to say with david blanton tyler myself you know coming in here really scouting these deer real hard using trail cameras and getting 
you know, distance is off and glassing. And this wheat field right here is magic. Just all these deer in the evenings in the, in the wheat field. But just a great Texas buck. Really happy. And we may have a chance to get home before the weather gets bad. But just a great deer. I can see deer way off in that mesquite. This big giant wheat field we're on the side of. Paul thinks these deer just sort of have moved over to this wheat field. He thinks the frost has killed all the natural browse out there and they're really hitting this, to get browse, they're really hitting this wheat field. And these deer are just coming back and forth. There's deer out here. We just killed the deer. We've hunted 12 days. 12 days. We had to move into this tower behind because he moved over to our sweet field. We just killed him. We just killed him. We just killed him, Greg. Look at this. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look at that, buddy. Look at that. Come here, Paul. Come over here behind. Oh, man. Look at that. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Unbelievable. This is the deer we've been after for a long time. A long time. He, man, he kept, look at that. He's a mainframe 12 pointer, but the brow tines are unreal. Look at that, man. That is unbelievable. God, there he is. Lay your hands on him, big dude. Lay your hands on him. Grab him. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. The mass, right? Yeah. Seriously. You said he got more mass than that deer last year. We saw this deer on the first full day of hunting, 12 days ago. We saw him for just briefly in a thicket, and I told Paul, I said, Paul, that deer's got mass, more mass than you think on those Spartan cameras. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we, we hadn't seen him since. We have not laid eyes on him since. This is the second trip out here. He likes the ladies. That's oh, sure. my gosh. Oh, my word. I'm back in the ground pile I was in the other morning when we saw the big deer. It's 46 degrees this morning, cloudy overcast. It, it's a perfect morning, but it's just breaking day. I can hear turkeys up in the trees, right over to my, right, right here, probably 50 yards. I can sit there and I'm coming. That's, a, that's an older deer. Not the deer we're after that. There's, a, there's another deer. That's our buck. 
Yes, sir, Buck. He's out there about 120 yards. I see him. This ate him up. He was quartering to me a little bit, and I just put it on that shoulder. And I just watched him run out there and just fall over. Yeah, baby. I mean, he's a giant. Wow. I'm telling you, Paul Holton's got these deer. He's got some deer in here. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord above. Thank you. What a blessing this is. Thank you. Wow. November 7th.
there he is. There he is. Oh my word, look at this. Look at the size of that deer right there. Look at that pig. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that. Look at that pig. Folks, that right there is a pig. Look at that giant. I mean a giant. Big old mass, crazy mass. Got a split on his G3 over here. Look at that. Folks, that's awesome. Look at that. That is awesome. What a bug. What an incredible, incredible morning here hunting with Paul Holton. I mean, this is incredible. Look at that. God, look at the mass. Look at that. That's crazy mass. He's a mainframe nine with a split G, a fork on his G3. He's got a kicker coming off his brow. Man, what an awesome, awesome buck. This is the deer we were after. I'm hunting as a guest of Tecamani down in South Texas, and I get a chance to hunt with uh, Sam and Jill Shackelford on their amazing ranch. I'm hunting a giant buck. I have hunted him with a bow the entire week. Can't get him within bow range, so I elect to go with the rifle. Here he comes down the road. Here he comes. Here he comes. It's a big deer. Son of a gun. I, 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 I've never done that in my life. I've never done that. I cannot believe that. I, I mean, I'm talking about, I, I was like, boom. I wouldn't even stay, I wouldn't even, I didn't even have him in the scope. I, 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 it wasn't even like I was, you know, on him yet. Gosh, I just blew that. Now, I never did like the taste of humble pie, but fortunately, Sam and Jill invited me to come back in January. This time, I am well prepared. The sun has come out, finally. And it is beautiful. Our deer was in here this morning in daylight. Just caught a glimpse of him when he's leaving. I really feel like he's gonna be back in here this afternoon. There he is, there he is. Holy cow, look at this deer. Oh my, it's unloaded. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this deer. Wow, that, that is a giant 
10 pointer. This is the same buck that I goofed up on back in December. Just goofed up. Gun went off. I, I did. I wasn't familiar with the trigger, but that's my fault. And I want to thank Sam and Jill Shackelford for allowing me to come back and hunt this deer. Incredible. What a great experience. He's huge. It's post rut, middle of January now, and there's nothing broken on this deer. Nothing, which is so unusual down here. Because these deer fight. What an honor it is to be a part of the Tecumani Show. My mentor, David Morris, who hired me when I was in college into the hunting industry years and years ago, who's taught me so much about life and conducting yourself with integrity. And thank you, David. Thank you, Jordan and Sonny Shipley, for allowing me to be in camp with you. And But I have to thank, once again, Sam and Jill Shackelford, unbelievable. What a great, great ranch, great people, godly people. Those are the best kind of hunts with people like that. And this is just an unbelievable deer. We got a plethora of different targets out there this morning. A little bit of everything. They got targets all over them. It's just a matter of picking the right dot. got six days to hunt, so we still getting after it. Here comes the buck way down there. I think it's a young ten more. Just get ready on this joker. Goodness gracious, we done, this is the honey hole. The creme de la creme. This spot, I'm right tender about. I feel like old Augustus McCray. This is actually where they shot the movie Lonesome Dove. And I feel right tender about this spot right here. Holy cow. That's a... Guacamole. He didn't go far. He's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all the points on that side. Look at that. He is neat. He's like 21 inches wide. 20, I think so. 22 yeah. inches wide. Holy smokes. What an unbelievable time. I ain't lying. I looked up and I said, look, coming here. Which look, way did you come from? I didn't just straight that. away. Just straight, straight off to the right of them so mesquite. All, all the way up here. Beautiful. Looked like an episode of Bucks of the Tecumani. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for David Marsh to start doing the voiceover. <laughs>